Hello everybody. Today nighttime sound reviews here and we are going to do a review of the Philips D8414 stereo radio cassette recorder boombox. <coughs> um, so this will be the first video on the channel. Uh, this test will not be uh, including a recording test since I do not have a cassette to record on to since uh, another machine of mine uh, shoot it up a bit and now I still need to splice it but it went missing the cassette so yeah. This uh, boombox has four radio bands. It includes uh, short wave, FM, medium wave, and long wave. The long wave goes from 150 to 270 kilohertz. The medium wave from 520 to 1605 kilohertz, TFM from 87.5 to 108 megahertz, and the short wave from 5.95 to 18 megahertz. <coughs> <coughs> This um, boombox also features long life heads and uh, chrome compatible. It has your standard uh, cassette transport uh, controls. It doesn't feature Dolby noise reduction or any other kind of noise reduction. It does include a tape counter. Um, let me give you a quick demo of the cassette. So, uh, today's choice of music is Music Mobile Hit Express British Tops. I have got it out of a thrift store. You need to put in the cassette upside down. Press it down far enough. This cassette player does need an azimuth alignment. But to compensate for that a bit, I will put the tone control on the highest position <coughs> and I will give you a sample. The fast forward goes rather not good. As you can hear, there is though a lot of bass out of these speakers. Rewind works uh, great on this cassette deck, but this tape is old and is hard to turn. Also, the sound is being produced by 130 mm wide range loudspeakers. It's stereo, as you can tell by the fact that it has two speakers. It also features a stereo microphone to record onto the tape too. 
Another thing uh, that cassette player features is um, a sleep timer. So you have a cassette, then you switch it over to a radio, sleep, and you play, tune in the radio station. C'est bien normal que je vienne vous voir. The cassette player switches off because the tape has reaches the hand and the boombox turns off. <coughs> um, this switch is a dual function so you can either select what function you want or you can select the recording mode. The downside I personally find of this is that you cannot use the line in just regularly. You can only use it to record on two cassette which is a downside because if you wanted to like put your Discman or CD player on this boombox via the RCA uh, stereo line-in jacks, um, you could only record off of that to tape. Now I'm called Nighttime Sounds Review for a reason. It's a good time to give you a demonstration of the shortwave bands. Just kind of hope your camera focuses. Go over to shortwave, turn on the radio. It's a bit dirty, I, I will need to clean the switches. So let's turn off the flashlight and give you a demo. You can read a book in a day, but like mm. that takes concentration, it takes hour after hour of focusing and creating your own. As you can hear, it tunes in short way. So now we are tuned at about uh, somewhere between 8.5 and 10. Uh, Megahertz. I keep forgetting if it's either megahertz or kilohertz. <coughs> this model also features a pretty long antenna, which is a good thing if you want to tune into short range stations. The bad thing about it is, though, it doesn't have any kind of fine tuning, so we'll uh, need to fiddle with the knob a bit to get stations tuned in, but it uh, gets actually good reception. Medium wave. I can't test the medium wave since where I live, uh, AM is dead and sky wave isn't providing me a very clear signal. I'll let you hear it though. 
So let's turn up our volume again. Let's try. Let's turn the volume up about halfway. We're getting stations but with a with a high pitched noise and interference and also the station is coming out of Spain or uh, somewhere around there or maybe Portugal I don't know um, but I do can show you the long wave the switch is dirty hold on Which is in the camp. If different smugglers who either demand me to leave or demand that I give them. This is BBC Radio 4. I uh, listen to that regularly. I'll need to talk over this since BBC is hard on their copyright policy. But we've got a French station. And that maybe, in a certain way, this consumption tendrait to accelerate a little bit. Also, it's a high pitch noise. Even if I don't have a lot of time. Finally, let's test the FM. Let's put it into spatial. Because this unit does feature spatial stereo which does a decent job. I'll uh, change the tone control. La lecture lui permet de tout trouver. That's Phil Collins, I guess. Hello, Phil. So it actually has. Here's some jazz. Oh, I like jazz. Let's get jazzy. This station is battling with uh, other station which is on the same frequency and they're way out of their bounds in terms of signal strength so you get this mismatch of noise with station. Meanwhile it's actually a station. I got the laptop from someone who used that to work there and it's a very good one. Oh, we all know that song. That's the middle of the night by Sierra Kid, I guess. So this was a review. It does feature a carrying handle.
Um, yeah. Bye.